I started a print on the U1 last night. Oh, no. Sadness. It's a failure, but it's not a failure of the machine. And let me tell you why. This is my studio space and filming area. It's a part of a warehouse, it is not heated, and it's that time in Seattle where it gets a little cold. This is why enclosed machines work well out here, such as the H2D, the Centauri Carbon, the H2S, the K2 Plus. They're all enclosed, and they're able to keep the heat inside, which really helps things stick to the bed. The U1 doesn't have a top enclosure. The cold from this brick wall can cause prints to shift. It can do a really good job because this dragon looks fantastic. The print that I have in mind is going to take a little bit longer than this. This is called the Benchy, and it gets its name from a very familiar boat, the Benchy. The Benchy is by Prusia and the folks over there, and it's meant as a benchmark, or uh, pardon me, a benchmark to test the 3D printer's capabilities. It's a really neat model. So my goal is to have the U1 print this. What I'm going to do is employ some cardboard help. This is the box that the U1 came in, which means it's sized perfectly for the device. Using a little bit of duct tape and some uh, knife skills, let's see if I can do this with one hand, I created myself a little enclosure for the machine. Imagine the machine in here, and you can kind of see through here. The spools are on this side, the spools are on this side, over the machine, and uh, let's see, over the filament, and then, Just like that. The fit's pretty good. Look at there's the spools over there. It's a little bit open over there. It's a little bit open over there, but it's it's against here. I can open the door. I can do all sorts of things like this should work out. I'm going to hopefully hit print and not get one of these. Stay tuned to find out if it works.